Welcome to Get Your Social On with a focus on LinkedIn basics. Now we have some information today about why LinkedIn is important. We're gonna offer some tips and we're also gonna have a special guest coming on to talk about how he's used LinkedIn in manufacturing and how he's grown from a few hundred people to over 30,000 followers. And it mainly just took some time, some networking, and here's the kicker, it helped him drive business. My name is Gail Robertson and I'm a social strategy guide. And uh, I believe that when you speak up and you suit up and you show up, you can have great success. So thank you for deciding to show up today. That's actually a big part of where you're gonna be able to see a lot of success when you decide to show up first. So let's start with why should we care about LinkedIn? And first of all, let's dispel some myths too. So it's not only just for looking for work and it's not a waste of your time. And in the last year, content on uh, LinkedIn has doubled, doubled. So that means there's a lot of people out there already putting lots of content out and including your competitors. So you don't want to let them get too far ahead of you. You want to get out there and start also uh, producing content and start interacting because if not, your competition will take your lunch and maybe a couple other meals along the way. So, um, one of the people that we're going to be having on to speak today, uh, Damon Pistulka. So he is with Exit Your Way, and he, we met actually through networking on LinkedIn. His background is manufacturing, and I'm going to let him explain a little bit more about why he sees LinkedIn is uh, important for business leads. For a business owner, you need to solve problems, or you need to meet the high the high level contacts for your next job or the next clients that you want to meet, you can do that. If you're a salesperson, you're trying to build your community of other people to refer. These things are much more efficient in a LinkedIn or other social media platforms where you can reach out, get to know people and engage with them on the platform and then talk to them offline and build the relationships that way that will ultimately lead to business. Ultimately lead to business. Now, that's what we're really all here to talk about today, business leads. So LinkedIn is a great place to start because it's free to sign up and it's very business focused. And you can actually just start with getting your business page set up and uh, your own personal page and be ready to roll pretty quickly. Now, there's some basics that you can learn to do and get this done right away. One is to make sure that you have a good profile picture. You may even want to invest in getting someone to shoot a professional headshot for you. Next, you want to have that the cover photo, that cover uh, lane, um, real estate that's on your page. Make sure you use that to the greatest benefit and then fill out your about section. So those are the first three things. Before you do anything else, you want to make sure that you have that set up really well. Now, uh, today, uh, if, if you want to send an email and uh, to info at Gail now, we'll send you out some tips on how to get that page set up uh, right away. So that's the first thing that you can do. And there'll be more information in the comments section about uh, that email and getting more information. Now, there's a world of information out there about setting up your LinkedIn profile. But today we're here to talk about the basics and how you can get out of the gate as quickly as possible. Um, another item that you may want to consider is having your LinkedIn profile optimized. Now, what that means is you could get someone to actually do some of that setup for you. One of the things that often stops us from getting a job done is we just delay on doing those basics. So also there'll be some information in the comments section about how you might uh, want to sign up to get your a quote on your um, uh, getting your uh, business page optimized, your LinkedIn profile. Um, Okay, next, we want to look at a bit more about why LinkedIn is important. Four out of five people on LinkedIn drive business decisions. Four out of five people. So that means that many people are actually there driving decisions about whether they may buy from you or not. So you want to make sure that you're getting in front of some of those eyeballs. That's for sure. Now, this is a staggering stat because it shows truly the greatest value of being on LinkedIn and why you need to show up in front of those decision makers. So that is the first step is to make sure your profile set up and that you get out there and start letting people see you and see who you are and get uh, get as much of a profile out. 
The next thing I'd recommend is that you want to post consistently. So choose either once a day, once a week, even once a month, but whatever you decide to do, do it consistently, do it regularly and set up a plan in your calendar that that's just a part of your daily work that you're going to do. And then what you'll be doing is starting to detar uh, target some of your decision makers and getting to know them and you want them to get to know you as well. So we want to understand a bit more now about how that works. And I always like to say, let's go to someone who's actually has proven success about how they've been able to use LinkedIn. Uh, so let's start with going back to hear from Damon, who started sweeping floors in the manufacturing world. And now I'd say he's uh, pretty much a LinkedIn rock star. So uh, back to Damon. I grew up in manufacturing, started working there when I was, you know, in my late night teens, actually late teens. Well, it's been a long time, but uh, started working in a, in a molding shop. So I, I understand manufacturing from sweeping the floors all the way to running the businesses. And I never in a million years thought I would use social media the way I do now and how it's really progressed over the last years, especially in the last 10 years. You know, I've gone from having a few hundred followers in, in, uh, you know, 2015 to I've got, I don't know, over 30,000 now. And what it really has allowed me to do is to be able to get my message to a broader reach to more of my target audience, to connect with people to solve problems. I think that's the other thing. It really allows me to build relationships that others can't because if I need to find somebody that's a specialist in X, I can find that specialist. If I need to find somebody that knows something about why I can find that person or I know somebody that knows somebody that can do that. And I've been able to really build a community. Social media for me has really allowed me to be a better problem solver for my clients. Building a community. That is probably one of the best parts of being on social media and certainly being on LinkedIn is starting to make those connections, building those communities. And as Damon said, be a problem solver. So what you want to do is be out there and finding where the problems are, because uh, that's how you can actually start to provide the solution. So instead of selling, what you're actually doing is connecting with people, listening, observing and being ready to step up to the plate and help out with um, whatever you may be reading or connecting about on LinkedIn. So it's not something that you just should do on the side of your desk. This should be something that should be a crucial part of your business strategy uh, and especially in manufacturing because there is so much opportunity there uh, to build on um, those networking relationships. Now, um, you don't necessarily need that large following. I mean, Damon is an exception, but he he decided that that was going to be important to him. So he put a lot of effort and time into it. Uh, so for you to start, you can start at ground zero and just start building your connections and start with 12 minutes every day. So this is a good place to start. Take your 12 minutes, set it aside and start liking and commenting and starting to just observe. Now you may ask, why 12 minutes a day? Well, 12 minutes a day over five days is one hour. One hour a week out of 120 in those five days. So that is a good place to just get in there and make a commitment to start. Because the best way with LinkedIn is that you have to be there and you have to show up and start making those connections. Then make sure you read those posts and respond as you would if you were out talking to someone in real life, make sure that you are responding in the same way. So instead of just putting great or giving an OK, uh, put some thought in some of the, those comments because people will appreciate it. And then what will happen is you will start to show up in other places and in other uh, profiles as well, which is really your goal is to make those uh, those word of mouth connections as well. Um, so another part that connects to that on social media as well as on LinkedIn is that it is about networking, connecting to people. Um, remember when you went to trade shows or you went to an event, you were talking to people, you shared stories and you connected sometimes on a personal level. Think about having that drink at the bar or people coming to your booth to talk to you and engage with you. Well, with LinkedIn, you can basically just take that same idea and do it on the LinkedIn in the virtual world. So. Damon also has some thoughts on networking. So I think we're gonna hear from him to talk about um, his thoughts on networking and LinkedIn.
and social media overall. Over to Dana. Well, the one thing that I really like about social media is it's a place where I can network and I can meet new people. And I don't mean just posting back and forth. I mean, I can meet somebody, I can, I can engage with them, then I can invite them to a Zoom call and we can get to know each other better. And really, I can network like that with people all across the globe in the matter of minutes and where I cannot do that physically. And it's much more efficient for me to do that. And then, yes, I will meet those people in person if I'm traveling there or if it makes sense, but I can do so much more of this work so much faster. All across the globe. When you're looking to explore business development, whether it's locally, nationally, internationally, you can now do it from your computer, from your mobile phone, from your tablet, your iPad. And this is the sweet spot because this is the place to have doors open for you. And just as Damon was talking about it, and as we all know, as we move into this uh, global world, whether it's during the pandemic or even post pandemic, we're still gonna need that opportunity to be able to uh, connect virtually because our world has forever changed. And we're gonna be looking now at uh, how to use the virtual uh, networking to make those connections. But you do need to connect, commit to set aside that time each day. And instead of the time that you may have spent on a plane or even in the airport or in any other type of travel in your car, well, now you need to make the time on LinkedIn and use that, just change the time from one place to another. Um, so next we're gonna look at why we wanna stress the importance of getting your profile set up profit properly. Because if you're gonna go out there globally and even locally, you wanna make sure that your profile is set up because there's going to be getting there, you will be getting quite a few page views. In fact, if you have your page set up properly, you will have five times more page views if you set it up with the right profile photo, with the right uh, content on your page, and you want to have people seeing you. So remember what you did at trade shows. You wanted to attract people to your booth. In fact, you probably invested quite a bit of money into uh, getting people to come to see you. Uh, you may have had giveaways. You may have had promotional ads. Well, the same thing is with your profile. It is like your calling card. So complete profiles get five times more page views. So that's really important to remember that when you're setting it up because uh, you're going to be getting more attention, which is what you want to do if you're going to spend that time. So how does this impact you. Here's another interesting stat about LinkedIn. One in three decision makers are on LinkedIn. One in three. So these people making decisions about whether they're going to purchase from you, they're watching, they're listening. So you want to show what you have to offer. You want to start connecting with them because there's a lot of people that have powerful decision making uh, powers that are using LinkedIn right now. So even if they may be not as, you may not see them as publicly, but they are there watching and listening. And as Damon has discovered, you want to stand out. One thing that I really like about social media is there's not many people that do what I do on social media in my industry. And what does that allow me to do? I stand out. I stand out because there are people that need what you're trying to do every day, what, how you're helping people solve problems. And if you're standing out, if other people in your industry aren't doing it, it's an opportunity for you to be that red M&M in the green M&M bowl. And people will pick it up, they'll look at it, and you're the one they'll choose. They'll see you and they'll look at it. That's why I think social media is a great way for not so popular industries or not so well-known industries to stand out. Yes, you want to definitely stand out and be that red M&M in the bowl of green M&Ms. So that is what LinkedIn will provide you, an opportunity. People need to know what you do, how you do it, and why you do it. What makes you different? What's your story? So we'll now end on a call to action. How can you stand out? So what I'm gonna ask everybody to do is to, at the end of this video, take five minutes to write down what makes your business different. Set a timer and just do this immediately after watching this video. So what sets you apart? What makes you stand out? Some things you could look at, like are you a family owned business? 
Do you work on items that your competition doesn't? Do you have a long time staff that maybe could tell some stories that you could share? Next, you wanna take those stories and add them into a file on your computer or a notebook or a note taping app on your phone and start a social media story file. Add any stories that as you think of them, because then you're gonna have, you know, for those 12 minutes a day, you're gonna have content that maybe you could start posting as well. So we're gonna wrap up with a question and answer and an ask me anything. And what we're gonna do is put, if you put the questions in the comments below, or you can email me at info at gailnow.com. And again, all of this information is gonna be in the comments, so please check them out. Please comment, add your ideas to the comments below as well. And opportunity is knocking on your LinkedIn door. Will you answer?